know you're out here if my intents was would I be standing out here filling a piece of paper if my intents were to hurt somebody I would have went straight into the building and did it no answer the only reason a cop the only reason a cop I already know the laws the only reason a cop can go on private property okay and what, what is your name um, I, I don't feel like I've given you my name what, can you give me what, your name? what crime did I commit sir can you give me your name look okay get your supervisor out here Welcome everyone to today's video. In this video, we will discuss a critical issue. When those entrusted with protecting us, the police, violate the fundamental rights established by the US Constitution, we'll examine cases where police have infringed upon the rights to free speech and filming under the First Amendment, and the right to be protected from unreasonable searches and demands for ID under the Fourth Amendment. When these rights are threatened, it's not just a personal issue, but a serious concern for society as a whole. Let's dive deeper to understand why this situation situation is so dangerous and how to respond when faced with such challenges. My name is private property in front of my unit is a perfect response to a bunch of cops demanding information from a citizen on their own property. My name. I need to know that you have I don't need to, to tell you here. my name. Okay, I don't need to give you in We're going to detain you. you. Okay. You need We need to know that my you have name on to private here. property in front of my Police always instruct citizens not to trespass in public areas that they label as private, yet they themselves enter residential areas under the pretext of patrolling. To enter a citizen's private residence, police must have a valid search warrant or the homeowner's consent. Entering a home without lawful reason and demanding ID from the residence is considered a violation of the Fourth Amendment, which protects against unreasonable searches. Okay, I need your ID. What's your name? My name's Officer Strong. My badge number is 3139. You're on private need... property here. Property. Yeah, I need your you name. You were never called. I need your name and, and date. And you were never called. I'm You're investigating on private a property. burglary. I'm investigating a burglary. A burglary? Yeah. Yep. You need to prove that you are either renting or you own these storage units. I don't need to prove anything yes, to you. Yes, you do. Private property. You're coming here to tell me that I'm under investigation? Okay, well, here's, here's another When officer. these are my two units. Yep. What you're I doing need, is completely I need, illegal, I need your and ID. if you detain I, me okay. at all, What's your name and date of birth? you guys, I'm not giving you anything. You are, you are detained right now. For what? Okay. I need, For what? I need to see your ID. I'm not giving you my ID. Okay. So I'm not giving you anything. And honestly, I would like your name and badge number as well. First of all, this is private property. Private property. I do actually okay, sir, uh, rent these two units. To give him the my sets, information, and you have permission to my information. Be a problem for you to give me. Uh, I don't need to give you f anything. Yes, you do. Two units. Okay, well, it looks to me like it could be a burden. I don't so care. I need to, I need first of ID. all, you're not. You, first of all, you're not even. This is private oh, property. Patrolling okay. private property. There was no call to come here. You just decided so to be an asshole and drive yes, through. Yes. You know, uh, no. Right. Wait a second. I'm, I'm not giving you shit. I don't got to give you anything. I did nothing wrong. Listen to me. I didn't know for name. Deputy Schnormer, Blue Earth County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I, I'm not giving any info. I don't. I did nothing wrong. I didn't ask you for any info. I asked you to listen. Okay. Can you do that? I don't, I mean, really, I don't really need to. You're both, you're both on private property. Do you own so. this private property? Do you? No, I don't. So what gives you the right to uh, patrol it? The fact that we patrol this Wait, all the time. Wait, do they pay you to patrol it? It's Is in it Blue, Blue Earth County. County. Are you paid to patrol? Is it in? Are you Earth paid County? to patrol private property? Yes. Okay. You think I'm stupid? I know the laws. You guys are not paid to patrol okay. private property. In fact, you can actually only come if you're factually called because there's an issue. You true. can't come. Sure you cannot come on private property. No. And if you guys want to go there, I'm going to f sue the shit out of this county because I got you both on camera. You know the laws. Who wasn't doing anything wrong? That these are his two units. You come in here demanding my ID. Oh. Door open. Okay. And so he's sitting here saying there's an investigation on a burglary. I don't know anything about that. I'm just trying to get under an investigation for a burglary. Now you got four cops here because my door was open. And I'm not giving any of you my ID. And this is going to be YouTube like you wouldn't pull shit up all over the goddamn county. I'm going to get all of your badge numbers done nothing wrong except being at my own two units. And he came here saying, my name's Brianna. I don't need to know oh, your name. So that's fine. I'm just letting you know. So we have a lot of complaints of criminal activity. Yeah, that's right fine. Here. So we do a lot of loops through it. Yeah, so what I do. So we just wanted to talk to you because normally people only have... Yeah, my question units. is, why are our property... First of all, who pays a, you to patrol a private a, property? Sometimes we have requests from owners. Did you have a request tonight? 
we don't need money. Wait a second. So you're saying owners can just have cops come in and request private Absolutely. property searches? Absolutely. So not, who pays for that? We're not searching you. Who, who pays? No, who pays for cops watch. to patrol this parking lot? We're just coming through. For cops to patrol private parking lots. I'm just curious. Like, what? who pays for cops to patrol private area? Cops are only supposed to come if there's a call. There was no calls. He even admitted it. He said, patrolling. Yes, we absolutely Oh, wait a second. No, you're not supposed to patrol we do, we are. regular we are. private we are. area. Bring in. When we have like, Jesus, we got day. one, two, we three, four, area, five, six, seven. Them. We're on seven officers. Because a lot of times when people start to become confrontational. I'm not becoming confrontational. I just have my door open. I mean, you're pretty he much. Be, I no, I'm not mad at you. Okay. But, but, but yeah. what's going on here is this shit's totally illegal totally you are going to get shit stormed by the courts for this i promise you that it's a not. guy at his unit on private property okay, sir, with no call with no call and young buck you're here what's i don't need to tell you my name i need to know that you have i don't need to, to tell you here. my name okay if i don't need to give you in we're going to detain you, you okay to know my name on private here. property in front of my this citizen exercised his rights correctly by refusing to provide id though he did waste a bit of time on these overreaching officers if only he had gone inside and shut the door the police would have been thoroughly embarrassed my unit huh. okay this is gonna be okay. rich how do i how do, do i know you understand your unit? you're gonna get fired for how, this how do i know you will get fired unit. you no, you're... blue earth county will be sued the for this okay. this is the shit that goes viral on you okay, sir i'd like for us to get out of your hair yeah okay? get out of my I, hair i see that you've got your, the locks unlocked that looks like get out of my okay. hair then i mean shit no, where's my truck where's my shit this is actually all my stuff perfect i just want to let you know what, we're, what we want to do um don't want to get you any hung, more hung up tonight so what i'm going to do is we're just going to follow up with the owners tomorrow and make sure that it's on tomorrow and report that there's yeah well that's my name on these few okay, units perfect okay I, I don't need that's, to tell you my name okay that's totally fine. She's trying to talk to you. Oh, hey, don't worry. Just I don't need to worry to, about it. Because what, what you me. did is already illegal. All of these people know it. He's already all illegal. You guys can bring as many cops down here as you oh, want. Okay. I've done nothing aggressive. I've done nothing wrong. So, and you assume I'm, 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 I'm robbing my own place. And you then, then you ask for my ID on private property. Shit storm your up. Sir, you're you, they already you're No, I'm not wrong, yeah, dude. You are. I no, come on to private property, assume someone's robbing his own place, demand his ID, and you're not even paying to put in his. You want to sit here and intimidate me? You think I don't know? That's not our I know my laws like you wouldn't. I promise you, I'm not only going to make this Blue Earth County bullshit go viral with seven different cops here for no reason, and you're doing something wrong. I'm pissed off because you came here and assumed I'm robbing my own two units okay, you, when this you, place you, is open you, you out of here dude. Right? there's no compromise you f up i just need to know fuck you, up it i don't need to tell you anything does anyone want anything anyone expect anything or should you all just get the f out of here because you already know no, it's, what, like I told you, you already know no make sure make sure what no one is paid to put no cops are paid to patrol this lot do you understand no, there is no explanation. Patrol like through here. There is no answer. The only reason a cop, the only reason a cop, I already know the laws, property, no. is if there is a call for a disturbance. You are very Bullshit. On that, sir. So very you're saying that cops can just go on, ask. If somebody, if this is your unit, and let's say it doesn't somebody matter. Wasn't supposed to be you're, not you you're not paid by the public. You're not paid by the public to patrol this, patrol this lot. So you don't patrol it. You come here when you're called. We're what he did was already a, no you're not allowed to patrol it. private property can you you can't just go behind their fences and climb the fence to be like we want to make sure it's secure well, the only reason cops can go on to private property years, which sir. is owned by private property anybody, this is a regular f***ing patrol i already know the law you can't go over to that private property over there make sure everything's safe anybody can drive through here you, no you can't Yes, they can. They just can't enter what? any of the units. Any public person can. You're you're a paid entity. You guys aren't supposed to patrol through here unless you're called. This is private. You cops are not allowed to just go on private property yes, to check shit out. Allowed. Okay, so if I had a huge ache, go out to my shop, check my shit out, 
look at well, things just to make sure here, so with, without the reason you're ever allowed to be on private property is if you're called. Were you called tonight? Sir, the property Were owner you called tonight? It does. When can a property area? owner request? Any, does he pay you for that? that does he pay you for that? He doesn't have to. We just do it. Uh, yeah, it is actually illegal. So, so you you can't go on private property without a phone call. Okay, so we have an ongoing call for service with that. With you guys are up shit the creek right now. The owners have asked they ask you. Here. It this doesn't matter property, what they ask you. It's just like a house, right? If you have a house, can you ask me to walk through your backyard? And make you guys will work just for me to check my backyard. If you, don't, if you have no, no. concern about that's not how it house, works. Like, I am able to. Works. If you, Dude, you guys are wrong. Your you're house, lying and you're wrong. You and I, I'm gonna, I am going to put this sure. off. Seven, eight. Well, an eighth guy's so coming. Bring them all. If, if somebody believes that someone broke into their house, correct? Right? Yep. Can ask, That's right. So this is an ongoing. But a guy, a person cannot call. A, a, a private entity can't just say, Sergeant? "Yeah, sure." Okay, we got a sergeant coming up. Perfect. Let's you. let's do it. Because you're all wrong. These rogue officers covered for each other, and it's truly disheartening that not a single one of them had the competence to engage reasonably with a citizen. Seven officers surrounding one person to forcefully demand an ID is like a scene of a lamb being encircled by wolves. I use this humorous analogy to help you grasp the potential danger of abuse of power, a serious issue that we consistently strive to highlight in all our videos. I'm ready, Sergeant. What do you want to know? Hi, dear. My name is Tiffany. One, three, two, dear. All right. Thank you for um, calling me, dear. What would you like to know? Yeah. We're just stopping all. We've had a lot of burglaries and a lot of these units. Well, stuff is as safe as we can help with. That's right. Okay? And that's all we're and trying then that's, to do. And that's great. But, uh, you know, I'm not sure why. What, Mr. Strong sir, here. Sir, is, no, it's, wait, it's sir, ma'am. Sorry. Okay, uh, okay. I'm not sure why Mr. Strong feels it necessary to patrol private property is you're not paid by the owners of this place to the only way you can come to private property is if you're called actually, period it's not. nope that's absolutely okay. true you well, can't you just can go believe, search but, okay. you cannot go on the private this property unless open, you're called it is private property but open is this to a the public so we can patrol okay it. so i'll see through here which open roadway public, comes through here no wait what public roadway comes through here can you okay. please explain it is, that? can i try to explain something Who, how does the does the public pay taxes on this that is open. Anyone that wants to can drive. No, no, there. actually, public, the public street. And it's open to the public. It's not open to the public. Okay, we don't have to argue. We're gonna. I'm not arguing. Disagree. Is there a fucking street through here? Okay. Through here. I, you know what? I've already tried to answer I'm, this. I'm just asking. Okay. How is this a public? We're gonna property? agree to disagree. How is this a? Do you? No. How is this? A, I've already explained it. If no, you wait. Is there a street through here? Is there a street through here? This is private property. We have access to it. By Who law, gives you access? access? No, by okay. law you don't. Okay, well you can agree, you can disagree. Well then you get know. your commander. Okay. I'm as high as it goes. Uh, there there is agree. this is there's no street through okay. here. There's no public street. There's no public access. Is there a way Nothing to that the public that pays for. I don't need that. The two locks are open. I mean, clearly, like these are both mine. I okay. can probably fit a key in and show you. Do you want to show me a fit a key? I mean, in I'll, I'll tell you what. Yours? Just to be nice, I would I'll fit a key in to show you that I can. Uh, open and unlock this. Okay. Bear in mind, and and I don't even need to do this. I'm just going to do it because I harassed the hell out of me. Citizens have the right to protect their private property from unreasonable intrusion. Demanding identification without the homeowner's consent or a lawful warrant can be considered a violation of the citizen's privacy rights. In such situations, the police must adhere to legal standards and safeguard the citizen's constitutional rights to ensure that their actions are lawful and do not infringe on the citizen's privacy. Also related to the issue of unreasonable ID demands, in the next situation, the police request an ID simply because the citizen is carrying a weapon. Despite having no evidence of a crime i don't know you he doesn't know you so i don't know what's going on so for me to carry a gun lawfully every cop in this town has to know me the second amendment ensures that citizens have the right to keep and bear arms and when police attempt to demand identification solely because someone is carrying a weapon it is a violation of this right requesting an id without reasonable suspicion of a crime not only infringes on the fourth amendment the 
Can I get your name and badge? When I get your ID, permit of the crime. I'm not giving you my badge. You're name. a public servant. Yeah, and you're and you. I got to find out if you're carrying a, a felon. Simply carrying a weapon job. is not a crime. I understand. I know it's not a crime. If you're a felon and you're carrying, then it is a crime. <laughs> Do you suspect me of being a felon? Do you have no, reasonable, have articulable no suspicion? Find out real quick. If you're not a felon, there ain't anything to worry about. I mean, all you have right. to do is go and ask them who I am. Everybody in this town knows me. I'm surprised you don't. I, I don't know you, so. Really? It just, it just is what it is. I don't, I don't know who you are. I mean, for my safety, if you're carrying with, and not a felon. And that's my reasonable suspicion, is that I got to make sure that for the community. Simply carrying a gun is not illegal. That don't Simply give you carrying a gun. to walk up and ID me. And, and see, and I'm, tape, I'm recording too, so it's all good. So, here's the thing. If you're, a, if you're not a felon, I, we, we go our own way. You asked me if I was a felon. I told felon, you I wasn't. I, but I need to see your driver's license. Because I can't... Well, especially when you said you can tell me I've got court telling me I can't come over to the sheriff's department. Them and I was unlawfully arrested and y'all are facing a five hundred thousand dollar lawsuit for it. Well, that's even my ID unless you're gonna force me. And if I you force me you, that will be another lawsuit. I'm not gonna force you to do anything, but I am illegally or legally. I am carrying it legally. I know you're carrying because I can see it. Sorry, I didn't mean for ashes right. to go in. No. You can Call the city, um, the city police. Have them come over here. Every one of them knows me. What is it? How does the city officer know you? Know you. They know me because I'm an auditor. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, really, do you think, being a felon, I would come to a courthouse with a gun on? Well, I've seen you do something like that. I've seen plenty of people that, that have done that before. That were felons. I'm not saying that, yeah, oh yeah. I'm not saying that you are. I don't know, I, like I said, I don't know you from Adam. I'll pick it up in a second. How you doing? I'm ready, I'm ready. I don't know. Yeah, they saw him out here. He was just carrying him. I was trying to check, him, check his ID. He said, you all know him. What's your name? I, not everybody knows me, man. I don't, I, I, I don't know what's going on. So for me to carry a gun lawfully, every cop in this town has to know me? No, but I have to see your driver's license to make sure. The arrival of the second officer didn't improve the situation because he just stood there awkwardly, saying nothing. Jokingly, we could say he de-escalated the situation by acting like a scarecrow. This scenario clearly shows the lack of understanding among the police here when one officer is trying to argue, while the other doesn't even dare to explain. To Simply idea. carrying a sure. gun is not reasonable, here's articulable the, here's suspicion the issue. Here's the issue. of a crime. Is my is my commitment is what I is what I. The have Supreme to do Court's already ruled cops have they, no duty to protect their citizens. No, they have. So that's that's our only job, man, is to protect the citizens. Why do you think we? Why do you think they employ us? They don't employ us not to. That's what we're supposed to do. Is apparently to harass the law-abiding citizens. Listen, if you don't have a felony, 
I go on my own. I go my own way. It's not. It's not. You have to have a crime I in order to, to ID me. I don't me. have to have a crime. I have to have. Re All I have to have is to make sure carrying a weapon, because I don't know you. Okay. It is illegal for a felon to. Yes. All right then. I don't know that you're a felon or not. Without seeing an identification and say. They come back with and tell me, yay or nay. If they say no, then you go on your way. Then we have to go another route. That's how that works. No, that's not how it works. As an auditor and then doing this four and a half years, suspicion that I have committed a crime to ID me. If you're carrying an open and I get a call, I get a complaint from people saying that you're out worried. They are duly worried that you might be that you're carrying that's not then, illegal it is Ill if you're a felon but simply carrying a gun a is not a but how do i know that you're not a felon i can't take you just at your word because i know that they're not felons and two minutes later we we run a check and there they are <clears throat> how do you know he knows you? Because I saw him. Gotcha. It looked like a, a... R. Wilson. Yep, that's McCoy. He knows me. That one probably knows too, you think? Can you please tell him I'm not a felon? That's still not, I mean, as far as you know, he doesn't know for sure. You know this other thing. Run him, run him. Yeah, run me, and I'm going to sue you. I know you think it's a joke. You think violating people's civil rights is a joke. Jesus, look at this, y'all. There comes another one. To know who I am. Deputy Eric Evans, seven fifty seven. how they are in Russellville. Go to any other town, this don't happen. I've been in front of a hundred cops, never once. Give me your ID, never once. Not illegal, and it does not give you probable cause. Just said I was the person mentioned by the videographer is Steven, who had been harassing this citizen for a long time, yet the police did nothing to stop it. At the beginning of the video, the officer claims that his mission is to protect citizens, but what he actually does is the complete opposite. The police failed in their duty by trying to protect criminal citizens from those who are simply defending themselves. As mentioned in previous videos, which you can review for additional context, the right to keep and bear arms has been in place since 1791. We cite a case to illustrate 
illustrate this point, Debris vs. US, 1996, where the police interrogated Debris for carrying a handgun discovered during a baggage check at the airport. Debris had no criminal behavior beyond possessing the weapon, and the court ruled that carrying a firearm alone was insufficient evidence to convict him, especially in the absence of any other criminal activity. As demonstrated, similar cases do not constitute criminal behavior. Takes that long to run me. Normally it's pretty instant. The Supreme Court has ruled that merely possessing a firearm is not sufficient grounds to demand identification unless the individual is engaged in criminal activity and has been prohibited by law. While we are unsure how this specific case was ultimately resolved, we hope the citizen prevails in court. This is crucial as it fosters public trust in a properly upheld constitution. Instead of being followed by criminals, the citizen exercising their rights is being followed by a police officer. <laughs> are, are you, are you, gonna are you really going to stick to me, man? You, I'm just asking. I'm What's just wrong with you? I'm just having a conversation with you. <laughs> How curious. The police demanded ID stating you are being detained and did not answer the citizen's question about whether he was committing a crime. The citizen has the right to remain silent to avoid self-incrimination under the Fifth Amendment. The citizen was standing on a public sidewalk outside the airport and he was fully entitled to film under the First Amendment. How are you today? Sir, can you talk to me? Do you have anything being detained? Uh, I'm just talking to you just because we were filming the airport and the officer was concerned. It's a little the airport. Am I being detained? Sure. Do you have ID on you, sir? Uh, what's your name and badge? Three. Can okay. I see your ID? Sir, can you put that down? You're being no. detained. You're okay. being detained now. No, then you're illegally detaining me. doing is very suspicious. But is so it a crime? I'm investigating it. But did I Something commit a crime? Something suspicious occurred, sir. Do you have ID? If I didn't commit a crime, then there's... Sir, you're being detained. What you're doing is very suspicious. But I'm asking you, what crime did I commit? You're filming the airport. You have you, Did any... you just see the smile on your face? Come on. You know how silly that sounds? Okay, sir. Do you have ID how many people? Airport? How many people in the airport? Sure, of the... Okay, but you're filming the airfield. You're filming a secure entrance. It's very curious. Well, I'm telling you, there's people in the airport. Video. Okay. And you're out here detaining me because I'm out on a public sidewalk, on a public trail. Sir, video just the from the other officer. Okay, made it I'm asking suspicious. you if I committed a crime. Sir, I'm asking you for ID because you're being detained. Determine that. 
Can you do me a favor? Well, in order for you to uh, uh, detain you me, you me? have to be accusing me of committing a something that may be occurring. Do you have ID on you, sir? If I if I didn't commit a crime, sir, there's no some type of ID. Any type of. You just make. Am I being detained or am I free to I go? Told you, you're being detained. Okay, then I'm, I'm going detained. Lock. You're not being charged with crime, so you can't answer questions. Do you happen to have ID on you? Well, then if I didn't commit, okay, if you're saying sir, I did not. Sir, what you're doing is very suspicious. I'm investigating. I'm trying to who, determine who whether something's going on. Who does not come out here with cameras and take pictures and video? Do you know where this video is going? I don't know where this video is going. It's going I'm on asking. YouTube. That's fine. Please. Unless I committed a crime, or you can articulate a crime that I have committed, then I'll commit a crime. Okay. There's no reason for you to come out here you and give me. I understand why it's concerning to the other officer when you're filming a security is concerning and the fact that you're filming the airfield people that, and you're filming the fence line there's people that of stand a along this whole trail right here what he was concerned about it wasn't the trail that you were filming it was over where the gate mechanism is so you have to understand why that okay oh, sir yeah. but you're not just filming the airfield or the Look, nature I, I gotta keep walking man sir i'm asking you for no. id to be uh, did i commit a crime sir i'm asking you for id I will, i'm asking you if i, I committed a crime you if, if you're this. telling me that or i'm being investigated for a crime sir i'm trying to determine whether some type of crime occurred that's all that's all this is i'll tell you what here comes hey. it looks like the other officer may be on his way so he's still standing at the checkpoint be on my way okay sir i'm asking you for id because Look, it is suspicious what, what was I doing? The gate. What the other officer explained to me is that you were filming the secure checkpoint and where the gate mechanism and everything. Understand. Did I go inside a zone where I wasn't supposed Sir, to? You have to understand why that's concerned. Okay, I'm asking you a question. Did I okay. enter? A, was I on a public sidewalk? Did because he tell you I was on a public sidewalk? Sir, all he told me was you were filming that area. Look, man. It's suspicious. I'm trying to say. Why I'm trying suspicious. to save you from you guys looking bad. Detaining me, you're all already wasting my time. All you're I'm impeding my you. ability to travel. Sir, all I'm you know that, right? Is for some ID. To this, you understand that you you now are impeding my ability to travel. What crime did I commit? I'll tell you what. Can you give me what, what crime did I commit, sir? Can the police continuously asking for personal information and following the citizen is a form of harassment. The citizen in this video displays a very cooperative attitude, agreeing to leave the area, but the police persistently block his path and obsess over interrogating him for ID. Now, uh, uh, you know, I want you to stop bothering me because uh, obviously you got a weapon in the airport. Leave me alone. Come on, man. Look, if we go right over here, whether they are over there or at the uh, at the gate, as long as they don't enter the gate, fence is right there. Even though there's not a line uh, painted on the ground, as long as the people don't go over there, it's all good. I do know about America. Yeah, right? and you know you about the Constitution. Wake you up, understand man! Understand that it's concerning. It's concerning to the officer working. Just trying to find out why you were filming. So, uh, uh, so people inside the airport with cameras is also concerning. It depends on the areas that they're filming. Well, would it be? Oh, if it's a public airport, I would think it's okay. To the airport, it's not okay to film. Okay, there. man. Look, look. <laughs> I'm gonna go about my way, man. I'll see you later. Have a good. Right. Are you, are you, gonna, are you really going to stick to me, man? You, I'm just asking. I'm What's just wrong with you? I'm just having a conversation with you. <laughs> how, I'm just curious. That's all. No, how far are you going to bother curious. me, man? I'm not going to get on my bike. What was the I'll just see how long you, you, you're going to few yards from your uh, uh, vehicle. And I'm just I can't curious. zoom in because I got my, uh, all right. I got my bike in my hand. All right. What was the purpose of filming the fence line? Yeah, the why, is it that you're, yeah, why is it that you're saying I recorded the fence line? Because that's what he told me. That you were filming there. Lower, lower was I on the public sidewalk? Sir, I don't know. I wasn't here at the time. I just, I was just a tripod filming an area that really there's not much to look at. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, what did you say? Your last pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. All right. Are you, well, I'm just curious. Would you be willing to tell me why you filmed it? You took an oath, man. Come on. I don't know how, how you're going to become an officer. And, and man, it's you're a smart person. If you went to school, then then your head should be in the right place. It is. So I'm just concerned for the safety of the public. That's all. Was there a crime committed? I don't know. If 
Come on, man. Go ahead. I can't believe this. Yeah, it's okay. Be a citizen enforcing the Fourth Amendment. Ensure that you do not provide any personal identification if you are confident that you have not committed a crime, and denounce the absurd behavior of the police. The final situation also concerns the freedom to film in public, captured by an independent female YouTuber. Hi. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just kind of curious about the camera. Uh, it records. I understand it. <laughs> the police approached the citizen and said it was unnecessary to film her. What does that mean? The officer's attitude when she mentioned being a freelancer is one of disdain toward the citizen. Perhaps he is a bit too old to understand that freelancing is still a legally recognized profession, and filming in public is one of the activities involved in that work. All right, man. Hi. Doing all right? Yeah. Uh, it records. <laughs> I understand it records. Yeah. Is there any reason why you're recording the building? Just out of... Oh, yeah? Yeah. What kind of story is that? Um, it's my story. I'm sorry? <laughs> my story. Your story? I'm going to video you just... Oh, you are? Okay. You don't want to be videoed? Uh, it really doesn't make any difference to me. You don't want to say anything about what you're doing or anything like that? No, not okay. particularly. All right. Have a good day. You too. No. Yeah, do you not have a business card? Just on your own? Yeah, I'm freelance. Freelance? Okay. All right. Why do I need a business card? Or if you were some kind of business? Uh, freelance. I mean... Freelance. Mm -hmm. The police asked the woman's name while she was filming outside the courthouse, but she was still in a public area. The First Amendment grants citizens the right to film and the right not to provide ID to the police without a legitimate reason. Filming outside a courthouse without engaging in any criminal activity or obstructing law enforcement does not provide a lawful basis for demanding a citizen's information. The citizen cleverly questioned the police about the connection between filming and terrorism, and the police's vague and confusing responses only highlight how absurd it is that they continuously demand citizens stop filming out of fear of terrorism. Why would citizens with cameras be filming if they were violating the law? Yeah. Just freelance. Well, this is, I mean, I, I can be here, right? Yeah, this is public. And property. I'm allowed to record here, right? Yeah, this is That's why with, I'm... But with uh, the way things are nowadays, if people start videotaping uh, uh, law, uh, why they're doing it, um, because of the environment that we live in today. Okay. So, and that's why I was asking. All right. concerns that were voiced to us and so we were uh, kind of wondering who you were and so okay so, and, and what what is your name um, I, I don't feel like I've given you my name curious, you know I, I understand you know that I hear that a lot about the things that are going on these days uh -huh. is that but I'm just wondering is, that does that kind of thing not concern me that are going on today oh I, I I, it concerns me that I don't agree with any of the anything that bad that happens but uh, what concerns me is I mean I'm wondering how many times that if, when those situations happen do they actually come and record is there really a connection between the two well I'm sure there's some type of, of uh, some kind of uh, do some kind of investigation I'm sure there is they do you think I, I, I would think so wouldn't you but has there actually been a solid like uh, connection with, solid connection between the two I, like people that record I, I, Really, at this time, I wouldn't be at liberty to say if, if I, if I right. probably, if, if you watch any of the news or anything like of course. that. Of course. Of course I watch okay. the news. Well, they probably, you've, you've seen things like that where they... Things on the other side of, you know, the police that... Like? Things that are done to citizens that shouldn't be done. And that's like, a, like anything it, like that. Um, or misconduct or anything. I'm just saying, like, those we, things are on the news, too. Right. Okay, so I'm just... And though they're dealt with. Found to be legitimate, then, then it's dealt with. Of course. Well, one would hope. Uh, anyway, what I what I do is is called like police accountability. Police accountability. Accountability amongst law enforcement. Okay. Okay. Well, and really, if that's what your concern was to start with, you know, all you had to do is tell us that. I mean, saying we, anything right now, no, but I've, you, you I mean, but but we also hold police accountable for what they do. Yeah. Well, what we would hope, but there are the county sheriff's department is pretty, pretty. Um, adamant about making sure that if, if there's something that goes, people are held accountable. Okay, well... So we we want to make sure of that, but we also want to make sure that our people are, are safe. That's why with, with you filming, that's that's why I can't afraid. say, hey, you know, how you doing? 
you know, what's okay. going on. And think. as far as accountability, we absolutely believe in that, and and, and we will adhere to that. Um, you know, the same with our people are safe. Oh yeah, I, and I am not a threat to any anybody <laughs> at all. So yeah, we we don't uh, we don't, okay. and, um, but we also want to make sure of what's going on. Okay. So we just kind of we try to and make sure that one we're accountable and one we're protected. All right. Okay. All right, so you have a good day. Okay. You too. Police should protect national security in more effective ways, such as enhancing their legal knowledge and focusing on apprehending actual criminals rather than constantly targeting citizens with cameras. They show anger and discomfort when criticized through YouTube videos, yet their actions consistently fail to adhere to the Constitution. The key lesson is that police and law enforcement agencies need to understand and respect citizens' rights, while also providing reasonable explanations when requesting information. Enhancing the understanding of both citizens' and law enforcement's rights and responsibilities is essential for maintaining fairness and respect in all situations. If you have any questions, please leave a comment to discuss this issue further and hit the like button and share if you found the video useful. Goodbye, and see you next time.